Hi guys, my name is Vela Constantin and today I'll try to present you a demo for external mode using uh, MicroStick Plus development board. Uh, this tiny board is actually a hardware extension for uh, MicroStick 2, which comes up with a um, collection of ready-to-use peripherals like um, LEDs, uh, push buttons, uh, a buzzer, a potentiometer, an uh, analog temperature sensor and uh, a very useful USB to UART converter. Okay, so uh, for this demo I will use the temperature sensor, uh, the analog potentiometer and the rotary encoder switch uh, to display the readings on the scopes in real time. Also in this simulating model I will use two manual switch plugs to tune some parameters which will uh, change a PVM frequency and a LED blinking rate. Um, actually the model I'm using right now is a stripped down version of the model you can find in the example folder of the block set. This model will actually run on the target and using um, external mode allows you to tune some parameters. Uh, to do that, it is necessary to have a communication between the host computer which uh, holds the simulating model and the microcontroller. Uh, this is done in fact by using the serial communication transceiver from the MicroStick Plus development board. So finally we will have two uh, USB connections between uh, PC and uh, MCU board. One is for programmer and uh, the other one is for UART communication. Then all you have to do to properly set up your interface is to open the external mode setup from the microchip menu and select the COM port channel for uh, UART communication. Uh, then verify that um, UART speed from this menu matches the SU model UART speed which is uh, 115 kilobits in this case. After that, from the same menu, make sure that the selected programmer is uh, MicroStick 2. Then uh, press the build button. After that, the Simulink uh, model will be compiled and the um, executable code will be flashed on the chip. It will take um, almost two minutes to complete, so I'll just skip this part. Now the final step is to connect the host with the target, so you have to click the connect to target button. Now let's open the temperature reading scope, the PVM scope and the rotary encoder scope. You can see that information is uploaded to my simulink scopes in real time. Uh, now let's try to download some parameters into the target. Uh, by clicking the switch, uh, you will override the analog potentiometer value and uh, will set a fixed PVM frequency. And by clicking the other manual switch, you will notice that the frequency of the blinking LED is changed. So this is all you have to do to use the external mode. If you want to see another demo, but this time using processor in the loop or um, PIL mode, please check out my next video. Uh, that's all and thanks for watching.